G'day legends, I hope you're all awesome. We're gonna check out the new Helix 3.5 update today. I'm on the HX Stomp. There's a lot of stuff in here. The headline feature being the totally overhauled cab lock, which in my opinion has taken the stock Helix cabs from don't even bother to pretty good. A feature that still I'm probably never gonna use because I use my own cab IRs, but I do wanna let you see how they're organized and how they work. I think the way it's been implemented is really, really good. Furthermore, there's new modulation effects, there's new drives, new amps, new reverbs. I think there's a new Octava in there as well. And there's a bunch of fun stuff that just overall improves the value proposition of a pretty awesome pedal already. So I'm playing my old Strat. A lot of you wanted to hear the litigator model on the last video that I did. So I bought that one up and let's just go straight to the cab lock in here because I do like the way this is organized where you select your cab. So I've got this 2x12 male C12Q over here and then you select your microphone. Let's go with maybe a 160 ribbon. That one always sounds pretty good. You can then use this kind of like skeuomorphic IR to move the mic position around. You've got a zero degree or 45 degree angle on there. You've got a bit of low cut and high cut. Let's actually add a bit of low cut and high cut over here, somewhere around there. If you've got a dual cab, there's a micro delay feature on there, which is pretty handy. I'll let you hear that in a second. But I mean, the actual like picture of a speaker and a microphone, I couldn't really care less about. But the fact that you've got cab, then mic, and you've got this kind of like organized hierarchy, I think is really, really cool. So let's just hear this to start. <laughs> nice edge of breakup tone in there. I can move the position of the mic. I can either grab the mic itself like that, or I can use the slider. I mean, with something like a ribbon, I would probably place it pretty close and close to the actual cone. So let's hear that. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool, pulling it back a little bit like that. So I find that works really, really well. If you wanna run a dual cab, let's do this. We'll bring up a dual cab and for the second one, I'm gonna select the same cabinet and I'm just gonna choose a different microphone. So let's just go with, oh, let's be different. Let's use the seven dynamics, like a Shure SM7B, one of my favorite mics. I'll move it over here. And what's cool here is you can adjust the level of the mic, you can adjust the panning between them and you can add a little bit of a micro delay. So if you wanted like, to change the phase relationship between the mics in there, that's pretty cool. This is something that you haven't been able to do on the Helix before. It is supported on other modelers, but I think a lot of people are gonna get a lot of use out of this. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna roll with this cab. You get the idea. There are so many different cabinets in there. When I try, say the Invective model or the Sun Model T in a little bit, I'll use maybe the matching cab or a different cab in there and let you hear it. So that's a pretty cool little trick is like panning two different microphones using a very slight delay offset to make your kind of guitar sound really nice and wide that way. Or you can just roll with a single IR as well. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. Uh, let's go to the verb block over here because you have this new dynamic ambience. And if you've ever played something like a Strymon Iridium or any of those kind of little standalone amp in a box model of things, they often have just a label on there called room to give you a room style ambience. Or if you're familiar with the fractal ecosystem in the cab block, you do have a room parameter in there. So similar kind of thing here. And you can really hear it uh, if you set it to 12 meters and just leave everything stock just giving you that little bit of ambience. And I like that, especially for headphone use, if you were using in-ears live, you're probably gonna like this. Sounds pretty good here as well. <laughs> Dynamic 
dynamic ambience, pretty good. Those dynamic verbs in here are pretty handy in general. There's a new four voice chorus. I'm gonna turn that one on now and I'm gonna to go to the bridge and middle position. <laughs> So I like the depth quite low on that one, but with a really low rate, like, you know, around the 0.2 hertz, and you crank the depth up, and we'll go back to four voices. I like that you can have one, two, three, or four voices on here. Uh, you get something pretty cool, I think. <laughs> Not half bad the other way around as well. So I'm gonna bypass this block. There's a new uni vibe in here called the Flexo vibe. I actually kind of like this one with a lower rate intensity at stock. And there's this warp parameter. I'm just gonna let you hear what warp does at the extremes. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Like most Line 6 mod stuff, it's got a lot of character, which I like. Let's try that with one of the new drives in here. There's this like Earthquake Devices Plumes model called Pillars. I think it's a Plumes anyway, if I remember correctly. <laughs> certainly a vibe right there. The other one which is super cool in here, it's called the Vital Distortion, which I think is another Earthquaker effect. And you've got the Vital Distortion and the Vital Boost. These are disgustingly filthy. I really, really like this. You know what? We should actually swap over to like the Sun Model T because that's in there and we're going to do something vaguely doomy. I don't really have the right guitar for that, but you know, what do we have to lose? I'm going to swap out this particular block and maybe the other modulation in there. There you go. It's Moon. I've got Moon bright at the moment. So let's roll with that. And maybe let's go with a matching cab. I think we've got these Moon T75 cabs. I'm just going to go with a single cab 
over here and let's go for, what should we do over here? Let's just use the 906, which is actually the one I got selected right there. Let's hear this. <laughs> Pretty cool, kind of reminds me of like a JTM 45 style thing on there. Let's crank some drive in this thing. I really like the low mid thing going on there. Give me some more drive. That's pretty good. Let's see why people wanted a model of this. Let's chuck the vital distortion on top of that and get filthy. I do love a good Octafuzz style thing in there. That's awesome. That is stanky in all the right places. You've also got the boost side modeled as a separate drive. So let's just turn the boost up and have a listen to this. <laughs> Zooming away, let's go with this Boss Octava style thing. I'm guessing it's an OC2 style model. Just let you hear it at the stock settings. <laughs> one of my own IRs, good old LTTV Mix 7. If you want this one, it is linked in the video description. This is the vitriol at stock settings. I've still got that dynamic ambience on. I'm actually just gonna go to the reverb and make it a 10 meter instead of a 12 meter room in there, slightly less. Uh, what's interesting about this is you've got a pre-gain and a post-gain control on there. So we'll just hear it at stock settings and I'm just gonna tweak a little bit. <laughs>
That's a pretty spicy sounding amp model. It basically sounds like a boosted 5150 without having to use a boost. So a bunch of fun stuff in there. Thanks for putting up with me, pulling a bunch of weird faces and just kind of tweaking as I go. I think if you're an all in the box player with a Helix and you were never really into the stock cabs, you kind of owe it to yourself to go through the new built-in cabs. There is some really sweet sounding stuff in there. If you're like me and you already know what you like when it comes to impulse responses, probably going to make absolutely no difference to your life. And that is totally fine. It's probably not there for people like us. It's there for everybody else. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you dig in those new effects. I really like that vital distortion in there. That is gloriously filthy. And the Sun Model T model sounds pretty awesome as well. I really like that for the kind of just, you know, low mid crunch thing that I had going on there with the Strat, uh, the new dynamic reverb, uh, dynamic room, What's it called? Dynamic Ambience. I've been talking about it for the last 20 odd minutes and I can't even remember. So it's probably a sign that it is time for me to finish up. Let me know your thoughts about this update if you're a Helix user. And well, I haven't saved any of these presets, but I will do some more presets specifically around that Sun Model T model. Model T model. It's definitely time for me to go. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. And you know, if you want to support the channel, like grab a ragdoll t-shirt or buy some music or support my Patreon, Links in the video description. See you next time.